Good evening, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for another great weekend here at the mountain. You can always find this latest local forecast at WSKITV.com on all your internet devices. And make sure to go check out Geppetto's in Village West as they bring you this uh, weather report. Mostly cloudy skies for the day on Saturday. Should be a great day out there. Very comfortable temperatures. Base temperatures just above freezing and up towards the summit, 29 to 33. We'll see a light southeast breeze across the hill, but it should be a great day out there. The skiing and riding is in great shape out there, so uh, get out there and rip it up. On Sunday, we're looking at more of the same. Mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures getting into the lower 30s for your highs and up towards the summit. We'll see uh, Sunday temperatures getting into the upper 20s with a northwest to southeast breeze. Looking ahead towards your extended forecast, more clouds for the day on Monday, a high of 27. Tuesday, we should see a snow uh, event coming into our area. Uh, temperatures right around freezing, so let's do those snow dances and hope that all comes down as the white stuff. 94 trails to ski and ride on for your January 21st Birchwood Interiors Trail Report. Check them out in Village West. About 82 trails uh, all groomed out overnight tonight. Here is what is on the groomers list. Timberline, Upper Binder, Cinderhoe, Upper Double Bitter, Tote Road, Kings Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Comp Hill, Spurline, Skidder, as well as White Nitro. Lots of trails on the east side as well. They're going to groom out Misery Whip tonight. Uh, Cruiser, Buckboard, Stubbs Glade, uh, or Stubbs Trail, Slasher, as well as Pole Line, Wiffle Tree, and a few other trails on the east side of the mountain, as well as all the trails on the west side of the mountain and the terrain parks. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge, Sawdust and Skidway move you around the base area and the Muscalator, which is the conveyor lift gets you up and down the Birch's Slope Double Runner East and West gets you a little higher on the hill if you're an advanced beginner check out Boardwalk as well as Lower Winter's Way and Lower Narrow Gauge 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning West Mountain will be turning as well Super Quad and Skyline get going at 8.30 Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mount terrain and uh, the Skyline Quad gets you to spill Spillway Crosscut and that allows you to branch out all across the mountain Wiffle Tree and King Pine, those are that service the east sides of the mountain with a tree more intermediate nice fast super quad and king pine gets you to some great expert terrain timberline that'll get going at 9 a.m uh, alongside number three t-bar if needed but timberline gets you up to the top of the mountain and that's how you get down white nitro gandhi line or if you want to head down the west side of the mountain check out the timberline trail you should have some great views 70 kilometers open down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center for Cross Country Ski Trails. They've got about 45K uh, for skate style, all groomed out. 15K Classic. The ice rink is open. It'll be open until 8 o'clock on Saturday night. So that's a great uh, activity to enjoy after your ski day. And they've got some great eats down there at the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe and a full retail shop. Rock and Roll in the Yurt featuring the Elmore Twist Band at the Adaptive Outdoor Education Center right on the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center Access Road. Put your dancing shoes on. Go have a great time for a great cause right there at the Outdoor Adventure or uh, Outdoor Adaptive Education Center. Also, check us out online. We're at WSKITV.com. You can find this latest local forecast updated twice daily. Lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy while you're here in the Maine High Peaks region. Also, our exclusive time-lapse view from the bottom of the mountain. You can check out live video as well as uh, time-lapse photography and our live shot right there at the quad cam button on our website. Also, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.